Hi and welcome, I'm David Starbuck Smith and today we're going to go over two exercises for back pain. The exercises are designed to address your alignment, which is really the root cause of most back pain. It has to do with the position of your shoulders, position of your hips, and the alignment of both and the relationship of them together. So back pain is caused when you have a compression of the area of the lower back based on the hips being forward or the pelvis being tilted or the upper back being rounded or rotated or twisted. So these two exercises are gonna take all that misalignment out. And they're two very effective, very simple exercises you can do pretty much anywhere. What you're going to need is you're going to need a chair where you can put your legs up or a couch. The idea is you're going you're to put your legs up at 90 degrees, so you need a right angle at your hips and your knees. And while you're here, you're going to breathe. You're going to go palms up out to your sides and you're going to breathe. Inhale, let your stomach rise. Exhale, let it fall. What you want to feel is you want to feel your lower back in relation to the floor. Does it feel like it's up a ways off the floor or does it feel like it's pretty flat on the floor? If it's up a ways, that means that your upper back hasn't settled. It's still locked up and we need to unlock that a little bit or we need to wait this out until everything settles. Ideally, your lower back would be on the floor touching. That way your hips, your back, your shoulders and your neck would all be in a straight horizontal line, which is what we're going for. So keep breathing, inhale, let your stomach rise, exhale, let it fall. We're going to stay here for a couple minutes. And then we're going to do one other exercise, as I said, that's not going to require anything but a wall. And you want your palms up out to your sides, just below your shoulders or um, somewhere around 45 degrees, 45 degree angle. And that opens up your shoulders, that puts your shoulder in a neutral position, which allows your upper back to also settle. So just keep breathing. Again, you want your hips all the way to the chair or the couch or anything that puts you at 90 degrees. If the chair is too high or too low, if it's too low, put something underneath your lower legs to prop you up a little bit. If it's too high, then find something maybe a little smaller. It's not the end of the world if it's too high, but try and get it the best you can. And again, as you're breathing, you're triggering your diaphragm here. Your diaphragm is expanding and that's putting pressure on the structures deep in your pelvis, your core, so to speak. It's also putting pressure on the muscles of your spine to contract and relax, contract and relax. And eventually you should feel it let go so that your lower back feels pretty flat on the ground. What most people don't understand is that back pain has as much to do with posture as it does anything else. But you might also find that um, an emotional trigger set it off. You're stressed at work or at home or in life somehow and all of a sudden your back goes out. Well, that's because emotional stress and postural stress combine to create extra stress. Too much stress on the body and your body breaks it at its weakest point. So keep breathing. We're going to go one more minute here. Just deep breaths. Close your eyes if you want to. Imagine you're just letting all the stress go while you're here, all the stress in your muscles, all the tension, all the stress in your life. Give yourself this moment just to breathe, just to be still and just to be very present with your body and with yourself. You want your legs to relax. You want the legs to just open up, relax, don't hold them stiff. If you need something underneath your head, you can use it, but otherwise, Head on the ground is ideal unless your neck is strained, in which case absolutely put something small underneath your, your head to prop it up to take pressure out of your neck. But you'll find eventually you won't need it. As your body changes position, you won't need it. Okay, that's the first exercise. Now go ahead and stand up. And you're going to find some wall space here. So you can use your door or a wall or whatever works for you and you're going to lean against the wall and you're going to slide down the wall, walk your feet out far enough, about fist width apart. Make sure the feet are straight, pointing straight ahead. Turn your toes in a little more. There you go. No wider than that. You want your feet literally one fist or two fists away apart max. You want your knees at about 90 degrees and your hips just higher than 90 degrees. You can come up just a tad. And you want to shove the small of your back flat into the wall. Now this is the important part, is you want your back flat into the wall here. 
And as it's flat into the wall, there should be no space. I shouldn't be able to fit my hand back here. Relax your shoulders. Weight towards your heels. You want to shove your, your hips and back into the wall. Use your legs to press your back in there. Your legs are going to work here. They're going to work a lot. And that's because they're designed to do that. We want you to find balance right to left in the hip muscles and the leg muscles. And that translates into balance and even symmetry and even pressure in your back. And right now we're realigning and rebalancing your spine, rebalancing your hips. And again, this is a great exercise for back pain, especially the kind of back pain where you have a stiff lower back, stiffness on both sides, general stiffness, general um, pain maybe on one side of your back. Um, this is very effective for that, for these two exercises, both of them, and they can be done, like I said, pretty much anywhere. Now you're going to stay just for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. You're not trying to kill yourself. You're just going to be here. She's already feeling it in the legs. Okay, come on up. All right, and when you're done, you just want to shake it out, close your eyes, maybe see how you feel for a second, see how your back feels, test it out, walk around if you need to, see what kind of tension you have left in your body, and you'll notice that there is a profound difference in the, their balance right to left, front to back, top to bottom, and hopefully also in your back pain. If you want more detailed discussion on back pain or more detailed exercises or sequences for back pain, come see us at davidstarbucksmith.com or at Balance Inside and Out.